More and more people want freedom from glasses and contact lenses and are opting for epi LASIK surgery. Dr. Jeffrey Gold is a board certified and award winning ophthalmologist who has performed more than 11,000 wow, procedures and he's joined by his patient Linda Smock. Welcome to Connecticut Style. Doctor, it's always nice to have you here. 11,000 procedures, that's a heck of a lot. I've been doing this for a long time. All right, let's uh, talk a little bit about epi LASIK versus the old way of LASIK. Great. Um, we found that in LASIK surgery, in which a flap is cut in the eye, the healing process never becomes complete. And so people are vulnerable to the rest, for the rest of their lives. If they get hit in the eye and the flap comes loose, they're in big trouble. So I've switched to completely epilasic, in which no cutting is done at all. And we have some graphics that show that. They're, instead of cutting a flap, this plastic blunt tip separation device is just lifting off the first layer of cells from the cornea. They are called epithelium, and so it's epilasic. In the right picture, LASIK with a flap cut and folded back. In the left picture, epilasic just with a thin layer of epithelium removed. Now, I think that's comforting, right? Because you're not actually, there's no cutting involved. Exactly. A lot of people are averse to cutting. And you can see in this video, those epithelial cells are removed. The laser is then applied to the eye in custom format, and there's the laser being used, to reconfigure the cornea so that all of the little irregularities in the optical system are removed, and then the epithelium heals over about the next three days. No cutting, no flap to come loose for the rest of your life. It's a wonderful procedure. And it's one time. You don't have to uh, go back? Less than 2% of the time in my practice, a fine tuning is required some, somewhere down the road. That's a pretty good ratio, though, pretty, right? Pretty <laughs> I think good, I'd take that. Pretty good odds. Uh, Linda, talk to me about your experience. You had the epilasic done. Yes, I did. Uh, six months ago, uh, November 4th. Um, we saw Dr. Gold on your show. Oh, I yeah. love that. <laughs> <laughs> Made a phone call and went in and he checked me over and at that point uh, decided to do the procedure. Um, I was a little nervous attempting to do it. Um, I decided I was almost 60, a couple of years away from 60. Get it, out of it, here. It, it was time. I can't believe that. <laughs> it, was, it was time to do something for me and I did. I'm maintenance free, no glasses. Let's take a look at a before picture. I think that we have of you. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> so you have your glasses on. Uh, but, and then after. This is a picture demonstrating that when you look at something through a person's nearsighted glasses, that object appears much smaller. So that was a cereal box taking a picture through Linda's glasses. Show them your glasses. I won't be able to open my eyes, but I'll no. put them on. Wow. That was me. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Not any longer, though. Oh, I can't even open my eyes. It hurts. It hurts. And just tell me a little bit about the experience. Uh, easy, right? Would you yes, say? Yes, yes. It was, it was easy. Um, it took, me, it took maybe 20 minutes for, for the whole procedure. Uh, my recovery time was, you know, a couple days of a little slight discomfort. And after that, it just kept getting better and better and better. And how's the vision today? You look great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. take that. Thank no, you. I'm perfect. All Linda, right. Linda's seeing better than 2020 now. Oh, She's that's seeing so 2015. Cool. Great. Doctor, tell me about uh, the rate of complications versus epilasic and the old way. The complication that I'm most concerned about with LASIK, in which we cut into the cornea and fold back a flap, is the fact that from here to here never fully heals. And the flap goes back down in LASIK and the edge seals overnight. But when that interface doesn't heal, that person is vulnerable forever. If they get poked in the eye just right, the, um, the flap is going to come loose. I've had to deal with that four times in my career with patients who have had LASIK. That's my biggest concern. Mm -hmm. Other complications are similar between the two procedures, infection, um, loss of vision. And in my practice, neither of those have ever happened. Very good. Um, let's talk about a screening process. Who's eligible for this procedure? Just about anybody who wears glasses and doesn't want to continue to do so can come in and find out if they're a good candidate. And the screening process involves a couple of scans of the eye in order to determine that there are no corneal degenerations involved. Those are the two major rule outs in terms of people not being candidate. Uh, if the cornea is too thin mm -hmm. to sustain uh, removal of tissue with the laser, then that would also be a rule out. 
Um, I will consider doing this procedure on somebody who's 18. Okay. If they can prove to me that their vision has finished changing for about the last three years. So I, we dig up their old eye exams from previous eye doctors, mm -hmm. and if they're still changing, I make them wait. Okay. If they're not still changing, we'll go ahead and do it. And there's no upper age limit. You could do it on a senior citizen. Absolutely, okay. and I have done many times. All right, uh, and you have a special offer for our Connecticut Style viewers, Doctor? Right. Anybody who mentions this program when they come in can receive a $200 discount per eye. Oh, that's big. That's great. The, the special is on our website, so I invite people to visit our website at libertyvision.net, okay. and they can actually print a coupon. Oh, very easy. All right, let's put that information back up on the screen. If you want more information on EpiLASIK, contact Dr. Gold at Liberty Vision. Uh, it's Liberty Vision Jeffrey Gold MD in Hamden, or visit libertyvision.net, and you can also find Liberty Vision on Facebook. All right, thank you so much for being here, both of you, and congratulations mm -hmm. on your success. Thank you.